It's a bouncy bridge. Don't be doing that. We ain't little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hands are numb. Apparently, there's no drone flying. I'm a bit unsure of exactly where we are, so I'm going to take you over to my Scottish tour guide. You a happy girl? Yeah. Honest, didn't it? it did, didn't it? Well, we are right now in um, the dark forest. Cracking little spot, this, isn't it? It is. A we do. I spot. think, out of all the places in Scotland, I think this is one of my favourite places. Yeah, same. As it's... well as Fort William, Glencoe, Edinburgh, Aviemore. Sky. more. Um, but yeah, anything past Carlisle, I kind of like. <laughs> but this, this is a little bit lovely. Right, we're going to go on a little bit of a wander. We're parked up there, literally miles away from anybody. Which is nice. Miles and miles. <laughs> and um, we are going down there for a wander. That's the beauty of Scotland though, isn't it? Everywhere you look, there's something beautiful to see. I think we need a moment on that bench just to reflect life. This is reflection. Can you hear that? I didn't realise you could hear reflection. How can you hear that? That's water. Exactly, it's just calm and chill and Well, not if you're scared nature. of water. If you're scared, you scared of, wa of water? No, but if you well, wear that... You're ruining it. I think Amber's got a fact. This bridge was built in 2009 by the Forestry Commission. The bouncing like bridge. Right. Now, now. It's quite a bit of weight on this bridge. Don't be doing that. I think it's time for you to go up there. We'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Y Foods. We have issues. <laughs> Major issues. I think they know we have issues. One of us doesn't eat breakfast. One of us doesn't eat throughout the day. <laughs> True you get story. busy. You get busy. So I never eat breakfast. Now, these are perfect. And to be honest with you, I have, for the past week, I have been having one of these for breakfast and I haven't felt hungry until dinner time. And I genuinely have not got that hanger. Me current favourite to the banana, um, the coffee brew and the chocolate and the vanilla. I like them all, I'll be honest with you. My favourite's the berry. Uh, it's actually out of the vegan range, to be honest with you. But um, as Neil said, I kind of forget to eat and it can be about 14 hours. All day she forgets to eat food. At least I just miss out breakfast. So I've been taking one of these little bad boys to work with me because it's nutritionally balanced. It's not It's not a diet replacement. It's not anything like that. And it's not a slimming food either. It's not like your traditional old style you know, slimming shakes, you have one a day and you have a meal. It is a meal replacement and 
I mean, this has got so many vitamins and nutrients in it. It's yeah. absolutely unreal. And like Neil said before, it does actually keep you full. So if you do want to know more about Y Foods and the benefits that you can get over, you know, if you maybe you miss a meal, I would certainly have a look into it and see what sort of plan would suit you best. But if you do want to know more about them... Link will be in the description. So rather than um, chop some wood down, we found some wood in the forest. So we don't need to wreck nature because it's already been done for us. To be fair, there was loads of wood chopped down down there, so we're just going to uh, reuse it because that would take probably a billion years to um, turn into mush. Tonight, it will be warming us up. We didn't have a fire. Nope. No. Why didn't we have a fire? Well, Sky Daddy decided to piss on us. It was a little bit windy. And it uh, rained. And it rained. Mm. Well, I want to say a little bit windy. It was very windy, wasn't it? It, it so. was. But we also did look at the rules and regulations for the Galloway Dark Forest area. And you are allowed wildfires, aren't you? Yes, you are, as long as they're responsibly done. Yeah. However, we decided with the wind and the <clears> rain and everything else, it just wasn't, wasn't, good. wasn't good. But one thing you are not allowed to do is you're not allowed to fell trees. So yeah. I couldn't take the chainsaw and chop a tree down. And you're also not allowed to fell dead trees as well. You've got to leave that to the people who can actually decide whether they're dead. But logs, branches that have been felled, that are on the floor, well, you can use them. That's fine. Well, you could say we found snow. It's also a bit cold, isn't it? <laughs> Just a bit. Yeah, it's a bit cold. But we found snow. We're in Scotland. Let's go explore. So we eventually got up to Glencoe. It was a bit of a treacherous ride, motorways were quiet, but the road leading up to Glencoe <laughs> that was black iced everywhere, even to the point where Radio 2 were um, putting warnings out telling you not to go on it. But we're here, Nick and Jen are here, Will's here, Paul's here, Roland Rooks are here, Alex is here, Gary and Amika are here, the Nolders on so there's just loads of people here. Emma's been out with the puppers. Now, for the first time in a couple of years, I've actually found her snow. Yeah, it's only taken you seven years. I can't make snow. Yeah, but you've been promising me for seven years. And I've given you, I have given you snow. Um, no, it's beautiful. Now, last night, some idiot drew a big penis in the snow. Yes, that big penis there, I've done that. Man so. child. By yeah, you and I are running out, running out. Time goes by, I'll change my mind about you and I, you and I. Trying to find the best run for the um, snow tubes. I'm going to get into a position where we can see them come past into ultimate danger. <laughs> I'm laughing that much. I'm literally trying to hold the poo in. It's time for the big boy to go. The big gorilla himself. I reckon that bit might be better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I only caught the end of that. Neil stacked it and just slid down on his ass. Oh, it's flipping freezing. Flipping freezing. So I can be brave, let me catch my breath. Now I can feel what I'm saying. I'm letting you know my heart's on the edge. Quite a while ago, we were sent something that 
it's a thermal camera so it does come with this housing that holds your phone and it also comes with a No, not shooting me. Basically, for people who go on hunting and you want to mount this onto a gun and stuff like that, you can actually calibrate the laser in with the screen. And then it does come with this lead that connects to your phone and it will do iPhone or you will do Samsung. So you can literally just, you don't have to have all this. You can just plug the camera into the bottom of your phone. We want to know if we're losing any heat out the van, don't we? Yeah, especially in cold temperatures and things like that it's good to know which is where we are right now because it's a bit chilly are you staying in here i am staying in the warm well, with the covers. i thought you might have been yeah mm. i'm not stupid <sighs> right so we've got it on our van now obviously you can see the heat and you can see the wheels are warm but looking through the van there's no temperature loss then you can turn it to rainbow, basically going through the the colour spectrum of heat. Obviously red is hot, but if we go into um, red, you can see the wheels are hot. The engine's hot because we've not long been in. Obviously through glass you're going to lose a little bit of heat, but sideways on the van, we're losing no heat really out the side. Again, that's the Truma. The Truma boiler's on, so you can see the heat coming out of there. So we're losing a little bit of heat at the top of the van there, just where the doors meet. So I can probably alter the doors and get some, you know, just pull the top of the doors in just a little bit so the heat is a little bit better. But, so you can see on Will's van, he's losing quite a lot of heat at the bottom of his back doors and then the actual side of his back doors as well. So that's Mr. Paul's van. We've just been out, so wheels are going to be hot. Uh, that is Max Air fan at the top. He's using a bit of heat out there. There's a window at the top. A little bit of heat lost out of there. This side, he's not really losing any heat out of there as well. But no one seems to be losing a great deal of heat. So even well out the back doors, he's not noticing it inside the van. You can see Poppy lit up there, great. Go on, Pop. That is an Alex fruit. Alex is putting a bit of heat off on his face, but the rest of them, and the back end's a bit warm as well, yeah. So, literally yesterday, we were on the slopes, in the snow, coming down like lunatics. And then today, where's the snow gone? There's <laughs> always one, isn't it? That was a lump of oh, ice there. Always one. He's going, because he's an absolute pansy. Um, he only come up to find snow when the snow decided to go, so he's leaving. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to go over to the west side with Nick, Jen and Paul, and then we're going to go somewhere else, and then we go somewhere else, and um, hmm. And he's got a 10 hour, 10 hour drive back. Uh, <laughs> see you in the future. Mm, so, and, but honestly, God, I mean, it's still icy. Can you stand there? I mean, that. That is pure ice. Yeah. How icy is that there? The fact that I just skidded on it in my van. <laughs> it's a sheet of ice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take this scale yeah. over to the west side and go from there. Hopefully find the Harry Potter train. We don't know whether it's running or whether it's not running. But we also got told off for flying the drone yesterday. Apparently it's illegal in the Caragorms. Hmm, it's not. Oh, well, well, have we found a spot. Got a bit of a complaint as well. A bit brisk. Well, it's a bit brisk. But I've also got another complaint, which we'll get to in a minute, um, while Emma's making a cup of tea. We've I'm come over... No, oh, she's making a the... <laughs> laugh. What are you making? I'm making a salted caramel macchiato. There you go. Anyway, there she goes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What's so funny? <laughs> Your face. So we are parked up there. Yes, it is on the side of the road or it's off the road. Um, I think there's been about three cars pass us since six o'clock last night. Look at that view! Where do I start with the complaint? Park for night. We tried about five park for nights last night. Some of them were actually passing places. So points of the road where you would have to pull in on a single track road to let other vehicles pass. They're not parking spaces. 
but for some reason they are getting added to the park for night app now i don't know about you but i would rather pay a higher fee and know that the park ups and the parking spaces are genuinely what they are this is not on park for night and it's not but just up the road there there are two spots on park for night and they are quite big and they're off the road they're more off the road than what we are now but they're perfect because they are set further off the road because so many people are using it and it's just letting so many people down and also there doesn't seem to be anybody checking on the park ups we have reported the two spots we went to on the app um, and told them that they're just not for parking Right, just started raining, which is standard for us because we want to get the drone out and have a look at the viaduct. Um, and then we're going to take Emma to stroke some reindeers. Are they reindeers or are they just deers? I think they're just deers. But in this weather, they're going to be reindeers. Well, there it is. It's a big old thing. <laughs> what are we... Comp what, what is... <laughs> Me or this? A fire dog. Oh, thanks. Silly sausage, you're mm. just a tiny little smidge. Apparently there's no drone flying. But here's some drone footage. Paul's laughing because I've had the drone up. But in fairness, I didn't see that sign, did I? No, not till just now. So we found a seat. Emma's gonna try and get on it without falling in the water. Look at you. You're blending in with the background there. Eh? Full crew are here now. Mr. Paul, Nick and Jen, doggos, tree lady, and puppers. Now here's a carrot for you. And some more. You a happy girl? Yeah. I'm a bit unsure of exactly where we are, so I'm going to take you over to my Scottish tour guide. Where are we now? Um, we're at King's House Hotel um, at the base of of Moor. There you go. So if you, if you want to come and see the Isle Reindeers, they're not reindeers, but well, technically they are, mm -hmm. because it's raining. Another one. Uh, don't you point them at me, mate. Don't you point at your bowing. You, you look like you... Hang on. Give us a sec, just give us a sec, wait, sit, sit, you're going to sit. <laughs> right, we think this one is just making its way into the van, Emma's trying to steal it, no stealing the wildlife Emma. If we could get one of them in there she'd have it. I've never done that before, have you? No. That's a new one for us, feeding deer. So I've learned that they like different things. Yeah, they like bananas, they like carrots, what else? Courgettes, broccoli. All sorts. But the posh broccoli, the long stem, obviously. Oh, well, obviously, you know, yeah. I mean, you can't have the short stem, can you? No. So, you know where they are. If you do want to come and see and say hello, you know exactly where they are. They're so cute. Nick's just told you. Thank you. 